Hey everyone, Ricky here with GSM Arena, and today we're taking a look at the regular sized Samsung Galaxy Note 10. I'm gonna unbox it and tell you about some of its key features. Let's get started. This year marks the first time that Samsung announced two Note devices at the same event, marking a real change in Samsung's Note series. Inside the box is a SIM tool, and here is the Galaxy Note 10 in the Aura Glow color. Under the phone is the updated 25W adapter, which now uses USB-C power delivery, some extra S Pen tips and removal tool, USB-C charging cable, and a pair of USB-C AKG earbuds with extra tips. Unlike the Note 10 Plus, however, we noticed the smaller Note 10 didn't include an OTG adapter, normally used to transfer data from an old device. The differences between the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus are, again, mostly downgrades. It has a smaller battery, lower resolution screen, less RAM, no TOF camera, no 45 watt charging, and no micro SD card slot. Don't get me wrong, the Note 10 is still very well equipped, Let's take a look at the phone's top features. If you ever wanted the back of your phone to look like a compact disc, then this is the color option for you. This is the Aura Glow Note 10, and it's so super reflective. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like the Aura Pink one. Let me get a closer look. No, 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 Will, where are you going? Hold up, let me see. One of the biggest changes to the design is the replacement of the power button. It's now on the left side shared with Bixby. Also, Samsung did away with the headphone jack. Boo! Otherwise, this is the first time that Samsung releases a more pocket-friendly Note. Samsung has always been known for its gorgeous displays, and the Note 10 is no different. This is a 6.3-inch adaptive AMOLED screen with Full HD resolution. It's smaller and lower res than the Note 10 Plus's display. The 10 megapixel selfie camera is still cut out of the display, but it's smaller than the S10's. The most unique part of the Galaxy Note series is the S Pen. It's the same size as before, but some gimmicky new remote control gestures were added. Of course, all of the useful features are still around. The Galaxy Note 10 has a 3500mAh battery, and while that's on the smaller side for a Note, remember that the S Pen takes up a lot of room in the phone. Otherwise, the charging has been updated on both models, and includes a 25W power delivery adapter. It's definitely an upgrade from the aging 15W adaptive fast charge standard. The Galaxy Note 10 comes in Snapdragon and Exynos versions depending on your market. Both chipsets are identical in performance and come paired with 8GB of RAM. The base model also gets you 256GB of fast UFS 3.0 storage. We only expect top-of-the-line performance and buttery smoothness from the Note 10. The Note 10 has a triple camera setup consisting of a 12MP main camera with variable aperture, another 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. It's the same setup as the larger Note 10 Plus, only the 10 Plus does have the extra TOF sensor for better depth sensing. With the Galaxy Note 10 starting at around 900 bucks, you'd expect that there's no room for compromise. That said, it feels like a somewhat stripped down version of the Note 10 Plus, and I don't like that Samsung wants you to choose the compact size over certain features. Still, it's nice that Samsung added a smaller option for those who don't want a huge phone, but at that point, the only thing that stands out for the Note is the S Pen, so why not just get an S10 Plus? In any case, we'll be conducting our full review of the Note 10, so we'll let you know if the smaller Note is worthy of its Note branding. Let us know if you have any questions so we can address them in our full review. With that, I'm Ricky for GSM Arena, and I'll see you again soon.